Here we go. Ready? so I can take it all apart. Now, you can see inside here there's still a big hollow spot and it doesn't look very good. Oh! I mean, I like it, but, you know, it's not good enough for Lance and Steve. And that's cool. So, these are going to go inside here, obviously. They have to be fit on the angle here and here and that's what's going to receive the, the, the return molding. But, I was talking to the guys and, and they are really adamant about me uh, putting this profile on the back, you know, the backboard, and then filling, the, filling in these two solid um, circles with backboards. So essentially I'm just going to have to transfer this pattern onto the back, cut it out, and then uh, instead of just having, you know, the, the roof moldings here, I actually have to put them inside here going around these circles. And then this is where you know, a piece of molding goes around this part and the egg sits on top of here and it probably sticks up about three or four more inches past the crown. So, it's okay because I got to stay busy building this whole thing without having exactly all the um, facts. Now that I have the facts, this window really is dis uh, distracting. But it's going to be winter time soon and everybody's going to be covered up with big jackets and stuff. So. I won't get distracted so much. <laughs> but anyways, I just had to unscrew this whole thing, which is alright, because I knew I had to anyways. You know, I was just staying busy, like I said. So then, hopefully, I'll give you guys a breakdown on how, I, how I'm going to fill these two parts in. Um, Steve wanted me to, to create a rabbit in the back and then, you know, get really thin boards and wrap it around the, 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 um, the, the curve. And Lance just said, put some glue blocks back there, yeah, back, glue blocks back there, and then just uh, shape it with a um, scrub plank, and that's what I think I'm going to do. It would have been more traditional. I mean, this is only aesthetics from far, far away, and no one's going to get up on top of it. So I think it's going to look pretty great. So, I got my rope-a-dope. I have the coolest axe tray, don't I? Huh? I leave cigars on like project all the time. It's not finished yet, so don't worry about it. All right, man. So I'm just gonna break this thing apart, transfer these circles on the backboard, and it's gonna look. I mean, it's really gonna look cool. You know, it's gonna have that three dimensional look all the way through it. You know, so I'm pretty excited about doing it. You know, for all the the bitching and complaining I do, this upper pediment has been a lot of fun. It's been really difficult to do. You know, what I mean, really tough. I had to stretch my ability to pull this one off, even with the little fret work and the dentals and everything. But uh, I feel confident that I'm going to be able to finish the rakes and, and the returns and get this thing done and, and really, hopefully, you know, get some positive feedback from all the super pros around the country. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, man. Well, I'm going to get to doing what I do best. Besides, looking great. <laughs> All right. Hey. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Well, check it out. I cut the backboards, okay? You can see how I took the whole thing apart, and then I just transferred the pattern onto the back, and I cut it out. Now, you can totally see the difference between what was on there before I cut it, you know? And uh, I attached these sideboards. Now, uh, I'm going to show you the next step. I got to thinking, you know, I like when I think. I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but it's the way the T-Max is going to do it, alright? Let's see how it works. Yeah. Alright. Can you see that? Where am I? Okay, I'm right in. Alrighty. Well, after I transferred the, the thing on the back and I cut this and I shaped it, okay? You can see how I shaped that? It's starting to go around the side. Pretty sweet. And then, all I decided to do was fit some blocks in like this. Nice and snug, whatever. And then basically, 
basically all I did was I traced. I traced the circle. Okay. Let's see where the hell we're at. So hang on a second, guys. All right. So I put those two boards in and I traced the circle. And I came up with something like this. I traced the circle and then I went over to the dado set and I removed as much material as I possibly could. And then I went over to my uh, shaper table. Okay, I went over to the shaper. You see the little, um, I don't know, box bit, whatever the hell they call them. I just, little by little, took it away, all right? And I came up with, you know, dig this, guys. This right here. Alright, that's still a little too snug. I gotta hit it with a hand plane. But essentially that's it, okay? This definitely I know it fits in there, okay? But just so I can show you what's up. Huh? See that? How cool is that? And that's what it's gonna look like. And I have to fill it in here, it's gonna be solid, and then I'm gonna have a piece of uh, molding that goes here, and it's gonna go all the way back. So, once I got it roughly to here, okay, I took it out, and you know, I just basically brought it over to my bench. You see my bench over there, you see the wooden plane? I'm just, I don't feel like walking around, guys. You can see that old school wooden scrub plane, right there. I sharpened it up, and then I just, uh, took the material away. Now, now that I got to this stage of the game with the um, with the pediment, I think I'm just going to attach it, get it to where it needs to be, and I'm going to put this piece on the inside, on both sides, and then I'll just probably clean it up with a scraper. I bashed my finger today, guys. Oh, so I'm not really having that good of a day. All right, I mushed my hand. I haven't got cut like that in I don't know how long. I was playing with the scrub plate and I bashed my finger into the corner of the um, of the piece of stock. So you know it's bad like after you cut it and it's got like that clear look on it, you know what I mean? It's just nasty. Whew. Good thing I didn't cry. <laughs> I, you know it didn't hurt that much. But it hurt enough, let me tell you. So I'm just going to get to attaching those things, and then, uh, hey, Patriots football, baby. What do you think? 4-0. Pretty sweet. But anyways, stressing out a little bit, guys, today. That's all right. I really like the way it looks. I keep looking at it. Huh? Is that funky? I mean, it's really going to look nice once it's cleaned up. And I, I use primary wood, and I decided just to use three blocks of wood instead of trying to, like, um, put a bunch of glue blocks in there and, and all this crap. I mean, I figured it was easier just to make, you know, a cylinder, essentially. I mean, I think it's a pretty good idea. I don't know. You know, then I'll just put another one on this side, and then I'll just shape it out, and then I think I'll just put a couple of screws in it just to hold it into place. It really doesn't need to have that much, uh fasteners on it, you know, one one or two screws would be plenty. But who knows? That's just what I decided to do. I like it though. Alright guys, that's it man. I'm gonna go get a band-aid and I'm gonna keep working. Alright. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Well what do you think? Pretty sweet, huh? I still have to put the center one in, but now that I have the, the, the blocks of wood inside the, the opening, right? What I did was I decided to just put a couple of glue, uh, not glue blocks, but screw blocks in the back and on the bottom in case this thing has to be taken apart, it won't be glued, you know? So, look at, check it out. I don't know, I just kind of put it together, you know? You see the blocks in there with the screws in them? And it's, it looks the same way on the other side and on the bottom underneath, like underneath here, you know? That's probably not too traditional. They just would have put glue blocks in there, but a lot of times those glue blocks will uh, end up getting broken, and they because uh, um, they'll have a cross grain issue, 
And what happens is over time the the wood expands and contracts and then the glue breaks and then the blocks fall out and then the piece rattles around after a long time. But anyways, that's not why I turned the camera on. The next step is to take the scrub plane and just smooth it over, okay? Now, I can't get in here the whole way and I really have to be careful. I already smashed my finger, like I was telling you, and my knuckles are really, like, in danger, like, to get hit on the corners of all this stuff, so you just kind of have to carefully take the material out, okay? And I'm pretty close, as you can see, that I'm almost done, so I'm just trying to get the last of the material out of here, so when you see this thing from whatever vantage point, there's not going to be a shadow line on the inside, and this is really way nicer than it needs to be, you know, but... I figured since I'm doing it, I might as well do it, right? So, this right here, guys, is really... <laughs> I mashed my fingers a few times and it really pisses me off. And the blade's a little too high and it beats up the corners and stuff. I may have to cut this off, but for now I'm just going to try to just take it easy today. And just as long as I'm taking material off. See? It's coming right off. As long as this material's coming off, I'm not going to complain. And then after I get it to a certain point with this thing... I have to take my curve, French curve I think it's called, it's a scraper, and I just come in here, see that I just scratch my arm, oh. so I just come in here like this and I just take the material out, so it's not that bad, it's kind of boring, but it really, is, it's going to make the pediment look so, so much nicer, you know, now it's not going to have that big box in the back, and when this egg sitting inside here, it's really going to really tip off this whole thing. And all this you don't see because it gets covered up with that other molding. So I'm just going to finish doing this for the rest of however long it takes me. <laughs> you know? So it's October. I stayed up late last night. I watched the Red Sox beat the Angels. Manny Ramirez. So it's October, guys. Hopefully I'll have a lot of sleep deprivation from the Red Sox going deep into the playoffs this year. But anyways, Hopefully I won't mash up my knuckles, and I'll just gingerly remove this material. All right. Well, that's that, and I'll turn it back on. After I get it shaped in, I start to sand it so you can see what the finished product is going to look like. All righty.